Hey, what's up you guys? Want to just give you a quick update. This is just our yellow labs. And these guys are actually in the middle of spawning right now. So I wanted to quick catch it on video while I had the opportunity. It's going to happen so fast because there is no hiding spots in here, but they do breed on a consistent basis, as I mentioned before in a previous video. And you can see the female, which is the one that is all yellow and of course your male is the one that has the the black um, but what she's in the middle of doing right now is actually um, finding an opportunity in order to uh, lay the eggs and then you also see the male come along and then uh, quickly fertilize and then she'll actually pick up the eggs and then at that point um, they house those uh, right in their mouth As you can see, they work, they work uh, quite quickly. Um, and if you notice too, it's hard to see. Um, I'm going to see if I can zoom up on her gill plate. Is This is where some confusion comes in, especially when they're little. Is where some people would actually call or think that they need to call their fish because their gill plate is kind of defective and that is not the case. Her gill plate is um, and it looks that way due to the fact that her mouth is obviously now expanded because she's holding all those eggs. And that shimmering behavior, that twitching, that's all normal. Doesn't mean that they have ick or there's any signs of any parasites. I see a lot of times people jump to the conclusion. Usually that behavior just simply means a lot of times they're like twitching like that and then shimmering that your fish are ready to spawn. Um, if they dart at the bottom and kind of are scratching against the substrate, then yeah, they could be kind of itching. Then that would be a different story, but this behavior is completely normal. Yeah. Usually they go down here in the corner. Um, this is real life here. You don't have, out in the wild, you got to do what you got to do. As you can see, as I mentioned in previous videos, I don't keep any type of decor in here, so there is no hiding spots. And you can see that these guys do breed on a regular basis, so it just goes to prove that you don't need 
rocks and so forth in order for your fish to spawn. They're good enough, like these guys are. Pros. They can do it just fine. Not to say I'm not going to add some rock down the road in this tank, but right now I'm completely content with the way it is. There isn't too much aggression. The fact is that these guys were pretty much raised together at a young age, so that definitely helps. But as far as what's currently in here, for the most part, I mean, yeah, you do get some fin nipping every once in a while, but not enough. Nothing too extravagant. Again, um, by using this other camera, the quality isn't going to be there, so you're not going to be able to see. You guys get the gist of what's going on. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. We'll talk to you.